The Cheese It Bowl is next up. Oklahoma against Florida State. Florida State's a nine and a half point favorite currently over at BetUS. The total sits at 60, uh, 63, 62. What did I write down here? Ah, uh, yes. 64. How's that? Total of 64 on this. Thursday, December 29th. It's 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Let's pull it up. Let's look at some numbers. Let's see what we got. Since week eight of the season, my model would have Florida State winning this game. Uh, 42 to 21, basically. So 20.29 points. Uh, the fact that this is still in single digits is mind-blowing. I just don't understand it. You look at the PPA margin, Florida State is the best in the country from week eight through the end of the season. Uh, Oklahoma's number 50. Oklahoma's offense number 76 in PPA per drive. Florida State's defense number 11. Florida State's offense number six in offensive PPA per drive. Oklahoma's defense is number 48. There's just not a whole lot of things that you can really look at that would point towards Oklahoma being able to stay in this ball game. You look at, uh, at points per play margin, you look at net points per drive. You look at uh, available yards margin, like success rate, etc. I mean, it's all right here on your screen. Uh, number eight in offensive success for Florida State. Number six in defensive success. You look over at what Oklahoma's doing, number 50 in offensive success. Number 61 in defensive success rate. Here's the issue with that offensive success rate for Oklahoma, though. Number 112 passing the ball. Number 41 rushing the ball. Now, maybe they lean a little bit on the freshman Barnes, but it, Eric Gray's out, and he has been kind of carrying this offense towards the end of the season. So if you don't have Eric Gray, what is this going to look like? I mean, it's just kind of a problem here. So you look at uh, Florida State's offense, there's nothing really that Oklahoma's defense is going to be able to do that will, that will slow them down. Uh, number four PPA per rush, number 14 PPA per pass, uh, and they like to run the ball a lot more. They're number eight in rushing success rate. Uh, Oklahoma's defense, number 79 in rushing success rate allowed. At Standard Downs PPA, Florida State is going to be ahead of the chains basically all day. Jordan Travis has been awesome. It looks like all the guys want to play. They want to get to that 10th win. Uh, Mike Norvell has got this thing turned around. There's not a whole lot to be said here. Uh, there's Everything that Florida State is doing at the end of the season has been fantastic. So give me Florida State to cover the nine and a half. I can't understand why it is this low. Of course, I said the same thing about Florida State when they played against Florida. And we saw how that turned out. So maybe it'll be explosive. But the issue here is that Oklahoma has got a bunch of guys sitting out. Florida did not at that point. So that was a rivalry game. It was a little different. Uh, Florida State, of course, playing in Orlando, relatively close to Tallahassee. Not like Norman. This is a bad year for Brent Venables and company. Uh, but yeah, Florida State minus nine and a half is the lean for me on that the pick there again my best bets are over at bet us uh the college football show over there go and watch those the links will be in the description so check them out check them out Psst. hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and of course jump in the comments Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.